Hey everyone, in this video we will be exploring the linear gradient property. This is a powerful CSS property that can be used to create beautiful and dynamic backgrounds. Have you ever wanted to create a stunning gradient background for your website or web application but didn't know where to start? That's where the linear gradient comes in. A linear gradient is a background image that transitions between two or more colors in a linear direction. This means that the gradient can be vertical, horizontal, or diagonal, depending on how you specify it in your CSS code. To create a linear gradient in CSS, you need to use the linear gradient function. This function takes two or more colors as its parameters, and it also can take an optional angle value to specify the direction of the gradient. The angle can be specified in degrees or in keywords like top, bottom, left, or right. Let's see this in action. Following along from the previous videos, you should already have the index.html file set up to point to an external CSS file. If you do not already have this set up, pause the video and take a moment to do so. I've also included links in the description where you can find the code to get you started. Open Live Server if you don't already have it open. Next, in the index.html file, let's add a few elements to the body. First, let's add an h1 tag. Call this linear gradient. And then let's add a div. Give this an ID of two RGBA colors. Let's copy this a few more times. Change this ID to three colors to top. Change this ID to five colors to left. And change this one to five colors degrees. And for this last one, I'm going to say percent colors. Then over in the styles.css file, let's add some basic styling for the divs and then set up some linear gradients for each of the IDs. So for the, so for the div, let's give it a width, 200 pixels, height of 100 pixels, margin of 20 pixels. It's absolutely fine if you can't see anything here that's expected because we haven't put any content in there. Now for the first ID, two RGBA colors. Say background, linear gradient, RGBA, zero, zero. 0 0.3 comma RGBA 0 0 0 0 0.8 and then save and then this creates a gradient that transitions between a grayish color to a black color by default this gradient will be vertical from top to bottom you can also use the two keyword to specify the direction of the gradient. And that's what we're going to do in the next ID. And that would be three colors to top. And let's say background and a linear gradient. First, I'm going to specify the direction slash angle which is two top, give it one, give it three colors. So first one, blue, green, yellow. 
And we're gonna save. As you can see, this started at the bottom, going to the top, going from blue, green, to yellow. The next one, say five colors to left. I'm gonna give it a background, linear gradient to left, blue, green, yellow, red, and orange. And when I save, you see how the color starts at blue here and ends with the orange on the left. Next, we'll say five colors, degrees, give it a background, linear gradients, we'll say 310 degrees, DG for short, blue, green, yellow, red, orange. Five colors, degree, degrees. So let me see that I spe I don't see it here. So maybe I specified the. Ah, it said grass when it should be degrees. So you can see how um, a little typo there will sometimes mess up your CSS styling. So when I save now and corrected the typo. You can see how the same transitions as the previous one, but more angled at a 310 degree angle. The last one, percent colors, say background, linear gradient, blue, and give it a 10%, green, Give it a 70%. And I'm going to save. And by using percentages, you're specifying how much of each color in percentages you want. You can see this is more predominantly green and less blue. And there you have it. Linear gradients are a powerful and versatile CSS property that can add depth and interest to your website or web application. Whether you're creating a simple gradient background or using advanced techniques to create layered effects, the linear gradient function is a must know tool for any web developer. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description for additional resources. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.